Okay, a welcome to today's show. This is a very old wrench. This is a proper monkey wrench because you turn its tail at the bottom. So it's made by Fenton and Marsden and it's very easy to age. After cleaning I can see it's Fenton and Marsden Bridge Street, Sheffield. This name and place was only in operation for four years from... 1845 to 1849. After 1849, it was bought out by Marsden and just become Marsden Brothers and Silverwood or Marsden Brothers and Co. Bridge Street. So, at its youngest, this wrench is 171 years old and could be 176, but we won't pick nitpick over five years. So what you can see running out now is the deoxy that managed to get inside it. I'm quite happy about this because that means there is no rust left inside it. Considering its age, this is a sympathetic restoration. I don't want it to rust anymore. I'm happy knowing all the rust has gone. And as you can see, as I wipe this off, it is coming up reasonably clean with just a blue shop towel. So I'm just wiping off as much as possible. One, to see how clean it is, any damage. And two, because I don't want all this black shit going over my expensive wire wheel. And this I should just stuff paper in to catch anything else that leaks out. Hopefully it will stand up right. Yep. So we'll start off with cleaning the top jaw, see how that comes up. And for something 170 years old, this has cleaned up rather well. Oops, I forgot to put wax on the thread. Beeswax. And thinking about it, this is a good time to put beeswax on the inside that I just cleaned with that little brass brush. Beeswax everywhere.
This wrench is as old as the Houses of Parliament. It's incredible. Find something in this good condition that that's that old. It's amazing. This is what I love about restoring old tools. Okay, bit of history there for you. A bit different again. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye for now.